Small business confidence is stuck in the doldrums. The National Federation of Independent Business said its small business optimism index fell 3.6 points last month to 89 and a half. That marks the sixth consecutive month below the lifetime average of 98. Owners expecting better business conditions over the next six months? That fell, too, by seven points to a net negative 61% its lowest level recorded in the history of that 48-year survey. The NFIB chief economist said that on top of the immediate challenges facing small business owners, including inflation and worker shortages, the outlook for economic policy is not encouraging either, as policy talks have shifted to tax increases and more regulations. Billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman told investors Monday he would return $4 billion raised by his SPAC, Pershing Square Tontine, that he launched in 2020. In a letter to shareholders, Ackman said investors would be refunded after he failed to find a deal that met investment criteria and that, quote, high quality businesses seeking to go public were either opting for conventional IPOs or putting off going public entirely. Ackman is now proposing, by the way, a new SPARC, yes, Spark, the R is for right, as in right to purchase. That's a vehicle in which holders would have a right to invest after the blank check company announces a target. And during a White House event on Monday, President Biden revealed the first look at scientific images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The image provides a look into some of the oldest cosmic structures ever observed, including a galaxy cluster, with some of the galaxies shown being more than 13 billion years old. The president called it an historic day and that the images show what we can achieve and what more we can discover. NASA will be releasing the James Webb Space Telescope's first full color images and spectroscopic data during a live broadcast later this morning. Definitely a lot of excitement out there for science and space geeks alike.